Yesterday, I flew to North Carolina to be part of Samaritan's Purse dedication of two giant cargo planes. One's a DC-8, and admittedly, it's my favorite plane. I've circled the globe in it and also traveled on to very troubled areas such as Ukraine, Bangladesh, Liberia, and other places. Now, the other cargo plane is a 757. These two giant cargo planes enable Samaritan's Purse to get to, to disasters fast, carrying field hospitals, medicine, food, supplies, tools, and so much more. Having these cargo planes isn't a small thing. These planes in Samaritan's Purse are able to save lives, thousands of lives with them. President and CEO of Samaritan's Purse, Reverend Franklin Graham, joins me. Good evening, sir. Thank you, Greta. Good evening to you. All right, tell me what you're going to do with these two. I know what you do with the DC-8, but now you've got this new, new one joining, the, the 757. What does the 757 do that the DC-8 doesn't, except double your capacity? Well, that's what it does, Greta. It just doubles our capacity, allows us to take more quicker. Uh, so several times uh, we've had to make multiple trips with the DC-8 to get everything we need. Uh, by having the, the 757, uh, we could just take more. And when there's a crisis, uh, of course, we, we want to be there quickly. Uh, we, we want to take the appropriate equipment and supplies and medicine and so forth. Uh, but you have to get it there. And having two aircrafts is just going to let us be more more efficient. That's 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 our plan and prayer. And of course, yesterday, we want to dedicate this this equipment, our hangar, everything, uh, to God, uh, and for His glory. And we we want people to know that God loves them and cares for them in the middle of a crisis. That uh, Jesus Christ, God's Son, uh, is there for each and every one of us if we're willing to turn to Him. And so that's that's what for for me as a Christian, it's important that we not only dedicate ourselves, but we dedicate our equipment. Uh, and the, the things that God gives us, the tools that he gives us to work with, that we dedicate it to him. You know, and to give some ideas that the 757, of course, I'm very partial, as you know, the DC-8, because it has the, the four engines and the seats in the back, uh, the 35 seats in the cargo bin area. Um, but that 757, because you have it, was able to quickly go to Maui. And, of course, Congresswoman uh, Tulsi Gabbard was also there yesterday. But it, but it allowed you to go. It's already made its first journey, hasn't it, to help in Maui? Yeah, and uh, Greta, it, it was great. It was fantastic. It allowed us to get in there uh, uh, quickly and, uh, and offload what we needed to. And so, uh, you know, we've already been uh, to over 61 countries uh, with our, our DC-8. Uh, we've had almost 3,000 flight hours on that airplane. Uh, and so I just believe things are going to get worse in the world, Greta, not better. Uh, I think we're going to see more political uh, crises. Uh, we're going to see more weather-related crises. And we just need to be in a position to respond and, uh, and to do it quickly and efficiently. Which, which, which actually, you know, we were talking yesterday is that I hadn't thought about it, is that we can't, you can't have a crisis happen and then you go out and raise money. You've got to have the money there and you've got to have your warehouse. You've even got field hospitals in the warehouse. How many field hospitals do you have ready to go right now? Because I know it, uh, you, you know, you keep fix it's adding to them. We, we have uh, parts. We, we try to keep five on the shelf, but I don't think we have five right now. Uh, because of the supply chain, it's been a little more difficult to replace some of the equipment. But I think we can put three field hospitals together right now. And, I mean, it's just extraordinary. Like, a crisis happens, uh, you, you, you assess the problem, you see what the needs are, you make all these relationships with churches, local churches in the area of the crisis, you send out notices to volunteers, people have donated money, and you got everything on the shelf, and it's just a matter of going, right? Well, it, it, it's a little bit more than just a matter of going. There's a, a lot of other things that have to take place. That's the, the political part of it. Some countries require you know, overflight permits and so forth. You have to have people that can get that for you and relationships in Washington uh, to help you get those permits. Uh, so there's a, there's a lot of moving parts. But God has blessed us with the finances where we can uh, afford these airplanes and, and make them work. Uh, airplanes are not for everybody. Uh, they are expensive to operate. But yet when you need them, you need them. And the reason we got our own aircraft because you can't always get a, a commercial plane. People say, Franklin, why don't you just charter a plane? Well, we, we did that for a while. But sometimes the charter companies would say, we're busy. We can't get to you for six weeks. Uh, well, if there's a crisis, we can't wait six weeks. We have to go tomorrow. So that's the reason we got our own planes, so that we can just get there tomorrow if need be.
Reverend Franklin Graham, thank you. And Smirin's Purse, uh, everybody knows that uh, what a, you know how much uh, I love the operation. It's such a, it, it, uh, it saves so many lives and does so much. Nice to see you, sir. Thank you, Greta. Thank you for coming yesterday. And indeed.